One of the reasons I got the Nvidia Shield TV Pro when it first came out is because I wanted to sit on the couch while gaming with a glass of drink next to me. I don't want to keep staring at the monitor or listening to the fan noise after work. The most recent game streaming experience I had on it was back in 2020 when I used GeForce Experience on Windows desktop as the server to stream Witcher 3 to Shield TV. Ever since I sold that desktop PC, I've been fully immersed in Linux world without being able to find time to stream any games. Lately, my girlfriend wants to play It Takes Two with me, and the tiny 14-inch laptop screen can no longer fit the need for the two of us. I urgently need a way to play games on TV. I had Moonlight installed on my Android TV box already, which supports the GeForce experience but it doesn't have the official support available on Linux, so I need to figure out something else. I have learned there is a program called Sunshine which can act as a gaming server on Linux for Moonlight, which does not necessarily require NVIDIA GPU. There is also Steam Link in the market for quite some time that I want to test. Now, before we dive into all the combinations, let's talk about my gaming setup a little bit. Because I only have this one personal laptop that can game, and it is being used to install new distributions almost every other week to make videos for this channel. To keep all my gaming progress, I installed a persistent distro on the external SSD inside this closure. If you have watched my previous video, you'll probably know that I run cracked games in bottles on this SSD. I have two reasons to justify that. First, after deciding to use my spare time to make videos on YouTube as a side hassle, I rarely have time to finish games nowadays. I'm too cheap to spend 100 Canadian rupees to buy something I can't even finish. And second, I haven't got to the place where this channel can start generating any money for me. So my top priority during my spare time is still making videos and probably monies, then play games. As to how to play crack games on Linux, I suggest pausing this video and go watch the video I just mentioned here to see how I made everything work. It would also help you to understand what I'm about to say in this video, especially if you want to do what I do. Let's start with Steam Link. It looks like the easiest option of all because it has been in the market for a long time, so I thought it would be mature enough for Linux users. But after installing it on my Android TV, it shows black screen with audio only in Steam Big Picture mode. I had to start a game using my laptop. The other issue is that even though the controller connected to the Steam Link client can navigate through the Steam menu, it stopped working inside the game. I decided to fix the controller issue first by simply connecting it to the laptop. I tried using Bluetooth first. My laptop has the Intel AX200 Wi-Fi card. It is the preferred Wi-Fi card on Asus Zephyrus laptop in the Linux community. But for me, the Wi-Fi is working, the Bluetooth is not. During the period I was setting up the streaming environment, I updated the system several times during those couple of days without any luck. So I decided to try using the cables to connect the controllers. There are two issues for that. First, the cables are not long enough for both of us to play comfortably on couch at the same time and it gets disconnected from time to time when we're being careless, putting it down after some intensive jumping sessions. And every time it happens, we had to restart the game to make the controller work again. The second issue is that I have only one Xbox controller, but two DualShock 4 controllers, and the PlayStation 4 controllers don't work when I connect it through USB without any driver for some reasons. I tried using the DS4 drive software from GitHub, it still didn't work. So I decided to fix this issue by making the Steam host to receive the controller signals from client. I looked it up and it was extremely straightforward. All I need is to enable the remote play settings. 
I tried a legal game and it was working flawlessly, although the Steam menu was still blank after this fix. I did some research and found that Nvidia Shield TV can connect up to four controllers. So I paired up one Xbox, one PS4 controller and set up to figure out the black screen issue, which goes nowhere. However, I remember the time when I was playing Witcher 3 on Android TV using Moonlight and GeForce Experience in Windows. Everything worked pretty well. So after hearing about Sunshine recently, I decided to go that route and ditch the Steam link. Following the Sunshine GitHub page, I was able to start a server using Systemd. And inside the web UI, I saw there are several default options, one of which being the Steam Big Picture mode. It wouldn't work by default because it is set to use Flatpak command and I was using the native Steam. So I set the Steam to open up with big picture mode by default and set a command here to Steam. I tried using the controller to open it up. This time I can see the Steam menu and play the game I own. I also tried using the remote desktop plus the game launched from bottles. The speed is quite good. A little side note, this is probably because I have a kick-ass Wi-Fi 6 router at home which is a bit overkill for my small condo. Now the issue again goes to the controllers not being picked up by the game started from bottles directly, which means the last piece of the puzzle is to add the bottle games into Steam. I was quite happy when I found there is a program called BoyoR available on FlatHub that can import games into Steam. And I was also surprised to see the games in bottles were automatically detected by it as long as the game has a shortcut. But the program keeps showing up the importing status without actually doing the work which is probably because I was using the native Steam application. Thankfully, the developer of BoyoR also provided a Linux binary on its GitHub page, which works properly. I was able to import the Flatpak Bottles game into the native Steam using the non-Flatpak BoyoR. Finally, let's game. With a simple Steam command in Sunshine and the default Big Picture mode set up, I can now use the controller connected to the Nvidia Shield TV to open up Moonlight, connect to my laptop, select Steam, choose the game I imported from Bottles, which will accept the controller seamlessly. No longer need to run back and forth to fix things. Thus, from the external persistent Linux SSD to cracking the bottles game and now streaming, I finally finished the chain, the circle, or pyramid of Linux gaming. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.